In this video, I'm going to show you guys both Westlake Village and Camarillo. I'm going to show you everything about both cities. Uh, they're both great places to live. I've sold a lot of homes in both communities. And let me share my screen and start diving right in. We're going to talk about the schools first. Okay, so here we go. Now, these are the schools in Westlake Village. <clears throat> so you have, these are ads right here, but they both are in Westlake Village, Ascension Lutheran, Oaks Christian is a great middle school. It's a private school, middle school and high school. They have great uh, sports teams. Future Academy is, uh, I think that's a, a school also, but very high level elite sports. White Oak Elementary is a fantastic elementary school. There's the uh, other Oaks Christian. Westlake Elementary. Now, I don't understand why it's got two and a half stars, but it's a really great school. Both of my kids went there. Um, so there's really great schools. The Conejo Valley School District is one of the best school districts in the state of California. There's Westlake High School. They have a great curriculum and um, it's a great school. All right. And now let's look at the schools in Camarillo. <clears throat> That's just an ad for Ascension Lutheran. They're not in Camarillo. So uh, La Mariposa School is a good school. Uh, Rancho Rosa School, Camarillo Heights Elementary School. People seem to like it. Cardin is a private school. Let's see if we can find there's Las Posas Elementary School and Las Colinas Middle School, St. Mary Magdalene. If you'd like to have your kids attend Catholic school, they have that option for you out there. Um, so there's some really nice schools and the school district that Camarillo belongs to is the Oxnard Unified. Um, and the schools in Camarillo are, are really good. They get a lot of support from the parents. Okay, another feature of Westlake Village are the parks. Uh, parents love to take their kids to the parks. We're a family town, so we have a lot of parks. Mostly, uh, a lot of times they're within walking distance in most of the neighborhoods, you'll find a park. Uh, Westlake Village Community Park over here, you can see on the map, Bernice Bennett Park, that's a great park. Three Springs Park is a great community. All of these parks are usually walking distance. Foxfield Park, uh, from almost any house, if you're in a neighborhood, there's usually a park walking distance in Westlake Village. And let's see the parks in Camarillo because they have some nice parks too. See, it's a little bit more spread out. So I don't know that all the parks are within walking distance of every neighborhood, but you do have a lot of options. Um, Camarillo Grove Park, Foothill Park, Valle Lindo Park, Carmen Carmenita Park. Caleguas Creek Park, that's a nice one. Okay, and let's talk about another thing that people love to do in Westlake Village and a lot of places in Southern California is hiking and biking. <clears throat> and luckily, uh, Westlake Village has a tremendous amount of trailheads. So we have the Triumphal Creek Park over here at some great trailheads, um, Split Rock, Lake Eleanor Central, um, Hillcrest Open Space, that's a nice trail. The Triumpho Trailhead is really fun. Oak Canyon Trail, Sycamore Canyon Falls, that's a really, that's, that's some good stuff that's on the way to Malibu. That's another uh, benefit of living in both uh, Westlake Village and Camarillo is that the ocean is very close. In Camarillo, you're probably 15 to 20 minutes anywhere you, you are in Camarillo from the ocean. In Westlake Village, you're about 20 minutes, maybe 25 to get to the beach. Here's the parks and Cam uh, the hiking trails in Camarillo. <clears throat> Lots here, Santa Rosa Valley, Camarillo Grove Park right here. There are goats and hiking trails that have some cool fun facts about them. Santa Rosa Valley Park, lots of hiking trails to explore and people to see. Hill Canyon Trailhead, this is a beginner's hiking trail. And uh, as you can see, there's a lot of hiking options as well out here in Camarillo. So that's really cool. All right, another thing that people love to do in Westlake is join a country club. So in Westlake Village, excuse me real quick, there are uh, three, main <clears throat> three main country clubs. We have the North Ranch Country Club, and then we have the Sherwood Country Club, 
and the Sherwood Lake Club. Now the Sherwood Country Club would be the most exclusive. Uh, it would be the most money to join, followed by the North Ranch Country Club. They're all beautiful places. Sherwood Country Club actually hosts a PGA tournament every year. So it's, it's probably got the nicest golf course out of the three. Sherwood Lake Club is a par three course. People seem to love it. I hear it's very well kept. They all have great restaurants. <clears throat> Country clubs in Camarillo are the Las Posas Country Club, the Spanish Hills Country Club, the Sterling Hills uh, Golf Club, and the Satakoy Club. And these are a lot more affordable to join than the country clubs in Westlake Village, but they're still very nice. Um, so you do have some good options. And I know a lot of people like homes that I've sold in Las Postas Country Club. Uh, everybody has a golf uh, cart in their garage because it's so close to the country club. And then they love to take their golf cart to the country club and they cruise around their neighborhood that way. It's pretty cool. Um, but these are all great country clubs with great golf and other activities. Uh, for families. So both, uh, you know, Westlake and Camarillo have options. However, Camarillo's options are a lot more affordable. All right. Westlake has this awesome lake. Okay. So as the name goes, Westlake, and you can, uh, if you live in Westlake Village, you have what's called lake rights, and you can rent a slip in the lake. However, there is about a four-year waiting list right now um, to get one. Or you could buy a house on Westlake that already has its own dock, so you wouldn't have to wait. So call me if you're interested in, in living the, wet, the Westlake lake life, and uh, I can make that happen for you. It's a really cool place. Um, there's restaurants on the lake, and you, know, you can sit down and have a view of the lake and have the sunset, and it's a really beautiful thing to do. <clears throat> now, one of the advantages Camarillo has is Camarillo has an airport and they do fly uh, small planes and then they do also fly Learjets. So recently in the last few years, when they started allowing the, the Learjets in, a lot of celebrities have been buying homes in Camarillo because it's not like a big name city and they can fly right in and they can buy a really nice house at an affordable price and they can be near one of these nice country clubs and have some privacy. Um, and then you can also learn, if you're interested in learning how to fly, you can get flying lessons in uh, Camarillo. There's a lot of, uh, you know, ability to do that. And then there's a really cool place called the Waypoint Cafe, located right on the runway. And at the Waypoint Cafe, you can come in and have a great breakfast or lunch and watch the planes uh, take off and land. So that's a, it's a lot of fun and it's good food. Okay, now... I'm sure you guys are wondering, all right, well, what's the real estate like in Westlake Village? If you don't already know, um, it, it's average sale price in Westlake is around $2 million, um, but we do have other options. We have townhomes and stuff and condos for under a million dollars. So what do you get in Westlake Village for around $2 million? So here's one, $2.2 million, four bedroom, three bath. This is 187 Royal London Court. And let's see this house, four bedroom, three bath, 3,100 square feet. And you can see this is nicely appointed, hardwood floors, really nice kitchen. There's the family room. It's got an eat-in kitchen. Okay, let's cut to the chase here. Oh, let's see what the backyard was all about. Okay, a little bit of a tight backyard. Pool table in one of the rooms, heading upstairs. Oh, there must be nice views from one of the bedrooms. <clears throat> There's the master, nice fireplace, nice master bath. There is a little bit more space in the backyard apparently around the corner. Yeah, okay, so you have a decent backyard. That was just a weird shot they gave us in the beginning. Okay, and then let's see. What, what happened? We wanted our Westlake Village houses. Oh, it's gonna make me re-enter now. Okay, I apologize. Delay. 
And then you guys get to see what a real estate agent search screen looks like. That works for Compass. All right, let's see. And show me the map. All right, here we go again. So that was a house for 2 million. Let's see what one of the $700,000 condos looks like. This is 440 Via Colinas. Uh, Via Colinas is a great neighborhood with great townhomes. I'm gonna leave the screen like this so we don't have to go through that again. Um, so as you can see, this is three bedroom, two and a half bath, and it's a little over 1300 square feet. Uh, it's got a really nice floor plan open to the kitchen. This one has an updated kitchen. And this is a great neighborhood to live in. It's got, it's up at the top of the hill. I know about this neighborhood because I used to live in it and I actually used to live in this model. When my kids were small, it was a really happy time. They used to ride their bikes up there. There's uh, three swimming pools, uh, three jacuzzis. There's hiking trails right there. Um, the community is very nice. Everybody likes to walk their dogs. So this is a cool, fun place to be. Let's go back to the map again. And let's take a look at one more house here in Westlake. Let's look at this one over here for 7.7 .7 million in North Ranch. Okay, this is 7.7 .7 million and we're in North Ranch. There's the Rolls Royce in the front driveway. Okay, this is six bedrooms, nine baths, almost 10,000 square feet. And you're behind the gates in the North Ranch Country Club Estates. There's the aerial shot. You've got about eight, a little over eight acres. Okay, yep, we know there's a Rolls Royce. Let's see, okay, here we go. So this is your grand entrance. It's got the beautiful black and white floors. There's the dining room, spectacular. <clears throat> really spectacular dining room. If you're into uh, super luxury living, Westlake Village is a great community because this house is actually a bargain. I know that some people think, you know, 7.7 .7 million, that's not a bargain. But if you dropped this home in Beverly Hills, uh, you would be having to pay probably close to $20 million for this. So Westlake Village is a great bargain for those people that are looking for the super luxury life Look at that, isn't that gorgeous? Look at that chandelier. And wanna live you know, away from the city and in a smaller town where you have a little bit more privacy and you're not surrounded by the, the homeless issues that Los Angeles is going through right now. Look at that master bath, that was fantastic. Gorgeous. Look at the pool, beautiful pool and views of the golf course, <clears throat> large private driveway. Okay, so that's a spectacular estate. Um, let's move on now to the real estate in Camarillo. Now you can see right here that uh, by the prices that Camarillo is a lot more affordable. So you have a lot more opportunity under $1 million than you do in Westlake Village. Um, so let's see what a home for 799, no, yeah, let's do this one, 799 in Camarillo. This is 1830 Edgemont Drive. This is a cute house, four bedroom, two bath, almost 1400 square feet. Okay, it's got some nice curb appeal. Let's see what's going on inside. There's the front door and in we go. Here's your family room. <clears throat> got a nice fireplace with brick. and a small eating area. There's your kitchen. It's got nice granite, white cabinets, stainless steel. Now, obviously, you know, between the last house and this house, this is very different, but if you are in the market under a million dollars, this is a cute house. Very clean looking, laundry room. That's probably the garage right there. Oh, and look at that, you get a swimming pool. So for 800 grand, you can be in Camarillo with a swimming pool. Looks like low maintenance. I don't see a lot of grass. You can have a garden. All right, let's see what else is available, excuse me. 
in Camarillo. Let's see what is going on, <clears throat> pardon me, in Camarillo for $2 million. Where did she go? There she is. Okay. So you have five bedroom, <clears throat> pardon me guys, five and a half bath for 2.1 million. And let's see what's going on. It's been on the market 97 days. This is 1859 Tuscan Grove Place. All right. This is nice. Built-in refrigerator in the kitchen. Kitchen looks nice. That's a galley style kitchen, or is that? I couldn't tell if that was an island from that, but it's an island. So you have an island kitchen, big open living room. This home is 5,500 square feet. So you, oh, it looks like you have a nice little courtyard in the middle. That's fun. One of the bedrooms, is this the master? I can't tell. Yeah, that must be the master. And this is the master bath. And there's the laundry room. <clears throat> Yep, so for $2 million, that's what you get on that side of Camarillo. And let's look at one more. What's going on over here for 1.3? What's this one for 1.25? No. Well, let's see. Let's see this one for 1.3. Coming soon, Alta Saguna Court. All right, this is five bedroom, five bath, a little over 3,100 square feet. There's the aerial, got some nice landscaping, drought tolerant. You look inside, you've got nice big double door entry, lots of good space. Very tasteful. There's the kitchen. There's an island. Good. Not a huge island. No sink in it, but it's still great for helping prep dinner. There's enough space to eat in the kitchen. Okay, kitchen. And then it's open to the family room, which is nice. So you can keep an eye on the kids. There's a fireplace in the family room. These are the kids' rooms. Very clean, very nice. This looks like it's an upstairs, you know, bonus room, media room. And the master bathroom. They installed some shelves, nice shower and tub, walk-in closet. Lots of space. There's an outdoor fireplace, a chimenea, some grass. So patio cover, looks like <clears throat> you get your own stairs to go up to a deck they built. That's really nice, peaceful enjoyment. Playhouse, this one's on a little over half an acre. Um, so for 1.3 million, you're gonna get a lot more land in Camarillo than you would in Westlake Village. Okay, I'm gonna stop sharing my screen now. So I hope this, video helped you uh, get a little bit more educated about West, about Westlake Village and about Camarillo, uh, the different benefits that both, both communities have. If you have any interest in uh, learning about them some more, or you are serious about buying a home in one of these cities, please email me, call me, text me. I'd love to meet with you. I'm Josh Brenner with Compass here in Westlake Village. Thank you so much. Don't forget to like and subscribe to my channel. Josh Brenner is living in Westlake Village. Thanks so much, guys. Have a great day. Bye-bye.